Hi, good morning. Uh, let you in on what I'm doing here. This is my my test that I'm doing with my Glutectic mismatch panels. And as you can see, I got both hot wires hooked up going through this battery switch. Right now, I have this panel disconnected and going in through this wire into this inverter. I'm getting 219 watts on the top. 355 on the bottom. Now a moment ago I had 600 watts or 580 watts coming in off 705 watts of the Canadian solar and I had 560 watts coming in through this inverter without splitting them. So my quandary is now, is it because I added an extra earth ground, which is what I, indeed I have done, because I've jumped the ground from this inverter to that inverter, because both of the negative wires, as you can see here, I hope you can see with my hand, these both wires are tied together and I cut them down to one. So four panels are coming into this one negative wire, which I've run a jump, uh, jump over to this ground. Uh, I added an external ground wire, and it seems when I added that ground wire, this 358, 360 plus another 220 coming in, and that's 550. So uh, just to test this theory. I'm going to switch this unit off like a power failure. And I'm going to take this knob and turn it back over to number one. And of course, now the sun went down just that quick. Dropped from 600 down to uh, 186. But anyway, this is what I've been getting. Crazy stuff. I think it might be because I added the extra ground. Now if I just went up to 600 watts from a maximum of what I've seen occasionally at 440, while my Canadian solars are knocking out 600. So, say what you want about these power jack units, but there's only 705 watts coming in at 47 volts, and I'll constantly get readings for 620 to 640 out of 700 out of these. So, I hope my very expensive outlay of cash for those end phase units wasn't a waste of money. Alright, I'll turn this back on when the power goes up again, but I think the extra brown made a huge difference for some reason. I'm not quite sure. Okay, again I'm going to try to film this. As you can see it's 483, 472, this 399. The panels are all going on number one, they're all going into this one inverter, and I'm only managing 15.5 volts by amp strap. Once again, I'm on, I have this inverter here, the blue one switched off. It's 15.3 amps. 95 watts total. So now while that inverter is switched off, I'm going to take this knob and switch it over to two. It's kind of hard to do here where I don't have enough hands. Turn this inverter on. And once again, 313. 178. Nice over here, the Canadian solar dropped down a little bit. So I got 12.6 now coming through that those two panels that make the most power, and the two that make the least power are actually doing pretty good together. It's almost seven. So it's uh, 6.8. 12.5, and I think when I had them combined, I only got 15 because they're fighting each other, obviously. So that's uh, 310 and 178, so hands down, and of course the power's dropping. 
hands down, splitting off these panels, mixed, mismatched panels are definitely hurting my performance big time. Because right now I'm getting close to 500 watts and I never see that. And that's the reason. So, there's the answer I was looking for before I put the, uh, you know, 800 bucks worth of end phase inverters in. Because these power jacks hooked up to 705 watts, 47 volts, continuously will spike up to 620, 640 thereabouts. So that's pretty damn efficient. So, anyway, I made the test. 308, 179. That's a big improvement. And I also got an improvement when I added an extra ground, which is what this is. It's a red wire black tape on it. Going directly down to my ground bus, which goes to a number four rod, to an eight foot rod in the ground. Alright, that concludes it. Alright, uh, I'm just showing you, I got everything hooked back up. This is the battery charger tracker. This is the 355 watts coming in. 147 on the PJ300, 411 with the Technics all hooked back together with the battery switch, uh, 510 on the Canadian Solar, and 520. So that's decent power. Now imagine if I was adding another 200 watts on those Technics, I'd be bringing in well over 600, 650 on top of all those numbers. So live and learn, but the proof there has been shown. And, uh, I mean, there it is. It's undeniable. Just, uh, mismatched panels are just killing that string inverter. Okay, that's